Hey everyone, I want to tell you a couple of neat tips and tricks on how to get more out of virtual DJ and cameras, uh, particularly cameras that wouldn't normally or classically be able to work within virtual DJ. Uh, two of them that come to mind are IP-based cameras that can be on the same network as you, as well as a digital streaming camera that's kind of designed as a standalone piece that could be controlled by an iPhone that normally would not be accessible uh, via computer software. Well, there's a number of different apps that are available to allow you to use your cameras in your Android and iPhone tablets, and I don't want to go into those right now, but they are available. It does give you a lot of options. Uh, these ones here are for specific products that may be better or better use or more flexible, or you may already have them. Um, the Mevo is the first one that stands out. It's a great little camera. It's 4K. It allows you to screen at just about any platform, and you can control it remotely with an app on an iPhone or an iPad. It's extremely versatile. It's standalone. But in this case, we can actually add it in using their new Mevo webcam app. This allows you to actually use it as a source within Virtual DJ, providing the driver for it as a webcam. You can also go in and control it as you normally would with your iOS device. So it's pretty cool. This device works on all of the Mevos that are currently available. It has a list of stuff that's compatible with. Great little website. I'll have the link in there. Basically, you just download the app. It's free. Install it. Then once it's installed, we can go right into here and it sees the camera as Mevo. Now I can actually go in and mess around with it. I'm not getting the best picture in the world right now, but it does allow you to do quite a bit with it, including zooming in on our cat. As you were. Uh, the other one that's really neat is IP Cam Driver. This one costs a little bit of money, but it's definitely worth the effort. It's available for both PC and Mac. They even give you a free trial, so you can try it out and make sure it works with all your cameras. Um, there is going to be some latency with these because they're running over the network. You are going to be required to have your own hotspot or better yet, have a legitimate dual band router that you're connected to. Even if it's not connected to the internet, it'll give you an extended range, it'll give you a lot more bandwidth. So you definitely want to give yourself the most uh, by doing that. It also will give you a, a good fair shake at using the um, remote app for virtual DJ as well. Uh, both of these are gonna show up in your system tray once they're, they're fully installed. This one here, you can select the camera as you're looking for it. The IP camera driver. There we go. Uh, you can give it a static image. It basically will allow you to select any that it has a profile if it automatically detects, or you can set them up. Um, I don't have any of these cameras hooked up at the moment, but if I did, I'd be able to see them remotely and connect. And then as far as adding them into Virtual DJ, it's fairly easy. Toggle this on. And select the camera. Oh, there's my static image. When there's no camera detected, it gives me my logo. Another pretty cool feature that you can add in. And I believe we can run multiple instances of the IP camera driver and uh, any other webcam that you want to hook up to this uh, USB will just plug in and be available and work. So that's it. That's the basic tip. Um, check the links down in the bottom and um, let me know if you have any questions about it.